Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today in part 3.3 .3 of Mastering Parallel Programming series in C Sharp, we are going to demystify the process of harnessing the power of local values. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. PFX components. If you watched my previous videos on mastering parallel programming series, you might recall this diagram. Well, today we'll go ahead one more step further and learn the process of harnessing the power of local values. Harnessing local values in parallel processing in C sharp. Let's start by addressing the problem statement. What is problem statement? The challenge of concurrently summing square roots. Let's see the code snippet shown over here. This code snippet is using the parallel dot for loop to calculate the square root of numbers from 1 to 1 million in parallel. Okay, so let's understand step by step this code snippet. First of all, I have created an instance of an object. That's what I have written. Object lock object is equal to new object. Then I have written double total sum equal to 0. So this line initializes the variable total sum to 0 and this variable why I have defined because I want to store the cumulative sum of a square roots as the loop progresses. Then I have written parallel loop with the help of parallel dot for method. Here it iterates from 1 to 1 million. For each iteration it calculates the square root of the current number i and adds it to the total sum. That's what I have written this statement total sum plus equal to math dot sqrt and here I am passing the i variable. And if you notice, I have written lock object over. This is nothing but a synchronization mechanism. The lock object I have used here for locking, which ensures that only one thread can access total sum variable at a time. So this is very, very important to prevent race condition where multiple threads might try to update total sum simultaneously, leading to unpredictable results. While this code achieves parallelism, no doubt at all, in calculating the square roots, the use of locks over here can potentially introduce performance bottlenecks due to the overhead of synchronization. So what's the solution? Solution is so simple. Just need to strategically applying locks in summation of a square root. Okay, let's understand this through an analogy. Think of a group of volume cleaning up a lot of trash. If they all had to use one trash can, it would take forever because they would have to keep going back and forth. The smart thing to do is to give each volunteer their own smaller trash. They can empty these into the big trash can when they get full, making the whole process much faster and easier. In simple words, we can say that when we have a big task to do, like adding up lots of numbers quickly, we can use a team of helpers, right? So instead of having all the helpers share one big basket, which would slow things down, we give each helper their own smaller basket. Then when they're done, we put all the steps from their baskets into the one big basket. So this makes the whole job much faster. So that is the concept we are going to see in programming over here with the help of local values. As we know, the parallel.for and parallel.for each offer a plethora of options for optimizing your parallel processing task. One such optimization feature is to use of tlock, which is nothing but a generic type argument that allows for efficient collation of data within iteration intensive loops. So to achieve the optimization, we can utilize this method signature. What method signature we have for the parallel for loop over here? Public static parallel loop result for t local int form inclusive int to exclusive punk t local local init punk int parallel loop state t local t local body and finally accent t local local finally. Okay, so let's introduce the concept of t local. Just like each value enter having their own trash can, t local allows each internal worker thread to maintain its own local value. That's the job of the local over here. To make this work, we provide two additional delegates to parallel dot for one for initializing a new local value and another for combining the local aggregation with the master value. By utilizing T local, we significantly reduce contention and improve efficiency in our parallel processing. If you see this method signature, I have written method signature for a parallel loop with a generic local type. And here, int form inclusive is nothing but the starting index int to exclusive is ending index which is exclusive of the loop then i have written func t local local init this is nothing but a delegate to initialize the local value for each thread whereas func int parallel loop state t local t local body it is also a delegate representing the loop body with parameters for iteration index loop state and the local value finally we have action delegate to perform final action with the local values after loop completion now 
you must have understood how local values play a crucial role in parallel processing to improve the performance. Example of harnessing local values in parallel processing. Here, I am presenting the same problem statement that I talked about some time back and will also demonstrate how to overcome it. What is the problem statement? The problem statement is the challenge of concurrently summing a square root. If you see this code as snippet, right, it gives us the performance bottleneck. While this code achieves parallelism in calculating a square root, the use of locks over here can potentially introduce performance bottlenecks due to the overhead of synchronization. So what is the solution for this performance bottleneck? Instead of applying the lock mechanism to every individual summation of a square numbers, it should be applied around the final summation of all locally calculated summation of a square value. That's what we did in solution zone over here. So here I have written parallel dot for loop. One nothing but the starting index. One million is nothing but the ending index, which is exclusive. Then we have lambda expression. Lambda expression goes to 0, 0.0. What does it mean over here? It initializes the local value, which is nothing but the local sum 0, 0, 0.0 for each parallel task. Then we have another lambda expression i comma state comma local sum goes to local sum plus math dot sqrt function and where i am passing this i variable so this statement calculates the square root of the current number i and adds it to the total local sum finally we have a lambda expression local sum goes to lock lock object total sum plus equal local sum so this combines the local sum of a square root with the grand total ensuring thread safety by using a lock so this statement is very very important here, I have placed lock only around aggregating the local values to the master value. This making the process much more efficient. So overall, this code snippet gives us the performance improvement. Okay, let's switch to the Visual Studio and see all these things in action. Okay, so here we are on Visual Studio. Here we will demonstrate how to harness local values in parallel process. To show the demo, what I have done, I have created one console application named local value in parallel class demo that has program.cs file. In program.cs file, first of all, I have added necessary namespace. Then we have a class named program that has main method, which is an entry point of this application. So in the main method, first of all, I am printing this statement, demo harnessing local values in parallel process. In this demo, I plan to show you an example of performance bottleneck and then improve the same code to achieve performance improvement. And we will measure the performance in terms of elapsed time which will be captured by a stopwatch. Okay, so let's see the code first. So here I have written performance bottleneck example and I'm printing this statement in console window with the help of console.writeline state. Then I have created an instance of the stopwatch. I have written a stopwatch, my stopwatch, one well, new stopwatch. Then we have created an instance an object and I gave the name to it lock object one. Then we have a variable total sum one of double data type that I have initialized to 0.0. .0. Then what I'm doing, I'm just starting this stopwatch with the help of a start map. Then here I'm using parallel.for with local values to sum a square root. What I have written this one, parallel.for one comma one million i goes to lock lock object one total sum one plus equal math sqrt function here i am passing the i variable to it finally i am just stopping this stopwatch with the help of a stop method what i have written my stopwatch one dot stop then what i am doing i am just printing this statement into console window this is statement what i am printing then what i am doing i am just you know printing this statement into console window what i am printing total sum of square roots total sum one calculated in how much time it took in order to calculate this and how we are going to get it those value we are going to get it the value with the help of my stopwatch one dot elapsed dot total millisecond whatever the time it took it is just going to print in millisecond then i'm just going to use the same code i'm just going to put some modification into it to gain the performance that's what i have written performance improvement examples starting from here this point onwards right then here again, I am creating an instance of this stopwatch and I gave name to it my stopwatch. Too. Here also, I have created an instance of object and I gave name to it lock object. Here again, total sum 2 is of double data type and I have initialized value to 0.0. And .0. here also, I am starting this stopwatch my stopwatch 2 dot start. And here, I am going to use the parallel dot for with local values to sum square roots efficient. How we are going to do it here? I'm just going to use this two function delegate and one action delegate, right? So here we have lambda expression that basically initializes the local value. Here I'm initializing the local value 0.0, .0 for each iteration. Then we have another lambda expression, i comma state comma local sum goes to local sum plus math dot squared. 
so it is just going to calculate the local value finally i am just combining this local value with the grand total that's what i have written local sum goes to lock lock object 2 total sum 2 plus equal local sum so here i am just adding all the local sums which is calculated by different threads i am collecting those values and adding into this total sum 2 variable right that's what this statement is doing it is just combining local value with grand total grand total which is nothing but here total sum 2 variable where we are keeping the grand total value okay then finally i am just stopping this stopwatch with the help of a stop method what i have written my stopwatch 2 dot stop finally i am just printing this statement total sum of square roots whatever the number it got you know derived i am just printing these things how much time it took calculated in here i am just you know taking that left time with the help of this properties my stopwatch 2 dot elapsed dot total millisecond that's how i'm just printing this statement into console window now you have seen how i have constructed this program right let me go and execute this program and show this output to you okay so output got appeared into this console window first of all this statement got printed demo harnessing local values in parallel process initially the total sum of square roots took 1509 0.3215 milliseconds after implementing performance improvement the same calculation was completed in just 19.2382 milliseconds focusing a significant enhancement in the processing so we have witnessed through this example that using the local value in parallel processing gives us the performance boost okay so that brings me to end of my session today to sum up harnessing local values in parallel processing can be a game changer for optimizing your c sharp code Stay tuned for more tips and tricks on mastering parallel programming. Until next time, happy coding. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.